Okay, here we go. I've got the OEM sender clear to the top there on the short arm. And so the resistance of it is 12.6. Should be down around 10.7. So we'll see what the gauge says. So you can see now that the gauge is about a minus, well, one centimeter from the line of half full. That's not too bad. That's 12.5 ohms. So I'm going to continue and go on to the next sender for full. OK, this is the aftermarket uh, empty sender that I've bent. And it's touching the top. And it's measuring about 9.8 ohms. It kind of drifts around. Uh, anyway, so that's pretty close. Let's see what the meter does. Okay, so uh, we're reading about a plus one uh, millimeters on the gauge at full there. Uh, so that's not too bad. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, non-adjusted uh, MP sender just to show. Okay, we've got the uh, MP uh, aftermarket sender that hasn't been adjusted. And I've got it all the way to the top up there. And the resistance reading is 17 and a half ohms. So that's going to throw some fly in the ointment there. Hang on, we'll get the meter and see what it says. So here's what we're seeing as the dilemma. We have uh, it, the gauge showing about three quarters of a tank at that 17 and a half ohms. Now, if I were to have calibrated this, uh, not calibrated this gauge, and put that 7.5 regulator on it, it would have been reading way up over here uh, in almost 1.1, which would be full. So although that would be great, then that would cause the other readings as, as it goes down towards empty to be thrown off. So it's kind of a catch-22. If you don't do any adjustments, you're just going to have to uh, live with knowing where empty is going to be and, uh, and just see how it works. That concludes all the testing I'm going to do for this phase.